Sixth grade, module four, lesson 12, problem set. Number one, use the distributive property to write the following expressions in expanded form. So we're gonna expand four to x to make it four x plus four times y to four y. So we're just taking the number on the outside of the parentheses and distributing it to what's inside. So eight times a would be eight a plus 8 times 3b would be 24b. 3 times 2x would be 6x plus 3 times 11y would be 33y. 9 times 7a would be, 9 times 7 is 63a, plus 9 times 6 is 54b. E, C times 3A. So we can't multiply by C, or we can, we just don't, it's not going to change the 3. So this is going to become 3A, and I'm just going to put C at the end of it, 3AC plus C times B would be BC, or you could do CB, either order. And the last one, Y times 2X would be 2XY plus y times 11z would be 11yz, or 11zy. The order doesn't matter there. Number two, create a model to show 2 times 2x plus 3y is equal to 4x plus 6y. Okay, so let's do 2 times 2x plus 3y first. So we have two groups of 2x plus 3y. I'm going to split it in half. And then I have 2x plus 3y. And then I have another group of 2x plus 3y. So now let's combine them. We have one, two groups of 2x's and two groups of 3y's. So I'm going to just rearrange them so that the x's are together and the y's are together. So we have two, x, two groups of 2x's, two groups of 3y's. So these two x's equal 4x, and these three y's are 6y. So this is equal to 4x plus 6y. So then in the end, this proves that 2 times 2x plus 3y is equal to the second model of 4x plus 6y.